Hey guys, it's Keith from Kinvert, and we hear from a lot of people, they think of Vector as a pet, right? And especially a lot of people on the mailing list. And so we wanted to think, what's a thing that we could do with Vector that makes him kind of like a pet? What's a game we could play? And we came up with Fetch, right? A lot of people play Fetch with their dog. And so we wanted to program Vector to play Fetch with us. And we wanted to do this with the voice, but we can't quite do it yet. At the time that we make this video, you can't really use many voice commands with Vector in the SDK. Right, so for what we're doing for now in the video at least is with touch, and then we'll end up updating the article once we know how to do this with voice commands. But right now they're not quite available in the SDK. It's still very early. It's the uh, the alpha version. So let's take a look at the star of the show. Everybody's here to see Vector, not me, right? So let's see Vector play fetch. So here is Vector, and right now he's wagging his tail, right? He's eager. He wants to go fetch, right? So we're going to turn him around. Now sometimes he misses. I still don't know why. And we're going to touch his back. We'll touch his back again. And he should theoretically... Okay. So I am going to briefly edit this because I had him running and wagging his tail for a long time. I'm going to cut back to when it works. I am still learning this game, so I might make mistakes. So obviously we're back. And he's reminding us, you know, because sometimes it just uh, doesn't work. I still don't know why. This is early on, so I'm going to touch his back, and he should go fetch. Hopefully he doesn't miss. Is he going to miss? Nope, he got it. And he's going to turn around, and he's going to bring that cube back, and then he's going to wag his tail until we say to drop, and we tell him to drop by touching his back, and he'll drop. There we go, and then he turns around. He's ready for you to throw the cube. You throw the cube. And let's shuffle stuff here, because nobody wants to look at my, you know, dirty old microphone that's sitting over there. And so now I'm going to touch his back again. Will he do it? Sometimes this is what he does. Sometimes he acts like he grabbed it. Don't go off the edge. And now I'll touch him again, tell him to drop. Let's give it one more try here, so I'll get him a little closer to the cube. And I'll touch his back. He got it, bringing it back, and he's waiting to drop the cube. I can't see his face when he's doing that. Oh well. And so now I'm just going to go back here, touch his back. Congratulations. So that's how we get Vector to do it. Again, we're not going over the code in this video. We'll have that in the link below. We've got an article on how to do all this in Python. Um, and by the way, you don't even have to code in Python, right? If you want to play this fetch game with Vector, you can just download the code. As long as you've got the SDK working on your computer, you can play fetch with Vector. We'll, we'll do another one here while I'm talking. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the one thing. Once you install that, SDK did it again. And so we're going to try to figure out what these bugs are. Again, I can't. It's, it's real hard to edit a video once you upload it. But this code will be edited. Um, this, is the, this is the second day that the uh, SDK is out, right? So it's just the way it is. And he's done fetching, because I've got it in a loop so that he only plays it a few times. So we'll see. Oh, is he going to do the, uh... He's, he usually gets startled when there's a loud noise. Not this time. I don't know what he's doing. So, anyway, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Is he going for the charger? We'll see if he does it. He's acting like he wants to charge. You going to charge vector? He is trying to charge. Okay, so this is Keith signing off, and we'll see you guys next time.